In a little over a week, there were two horrific shootings in Seattle, one at a daycare, another at a park. Between 2019 and this year, the city has seen a 120% increase in shootings. So could artificial intelligence help curb Seattle's epidemic of gun violence? Mayor Bruce Harrell certainly thinks so. He's trying for a second time to get budget approval to mount acoustic gunshot detectors in certain parts of the city. The tech is more commonly known as ShotSpotter. Major U.S. cities like New York, Detroit, and Houston have it, but the CEO lives right here. For some neighborhoods, sounds of gunfire like this are not that unusual. Research shows 80 to 90 percent go unreported to 911. That means there's no police response. Ralph Clark wants to change that in Seattle. I live in the central district of Seattle. I hear guns. Clark is president and CEO of Sound Thinking, the company behind ShotSpotter technology. Audio sensors detect the sounds of gunfire, triangulate the location, and direct officers to it within 45 seconds. Literally, it's a cop to a dot, so we're within 85 feet of the location of the gunfire. That's our level of precision. AI filters out the pops, booms, and bangs that are unlikely to be gunshots. Then a human in the incident review center listens and makes a final judgment about an alert. Officers then receive the location and an audio clip of the gunfire. In getting officers to the scene very quickly, they're more apt to save lives and recover physical forensic evidence. Clark points to data from 2022 in Oakland. ShotSpotter led to over 100 gunshot wound victims that did not have a corresponding 911 call. He says the technology is already being used in 150 cities, including New York, Houston, and Detroit, but not here yet. The fact is there's technology out there, and that's why I promoted the acoustic gunfire locating system. Mayor Bruce Harrell tried unsuccessfully last year to get the city council to fund it. I proposed it in the budget and the city council did not accept it and they took it out of the budget. He's trying again this year. He has the support of the Reverend Harriet Walden, a longtime Seattle Police accountability and social justice activist. We really want to have this shot spotter. I mean, we really want more protection in our community to be able to know where these shots are coming from. But the ACLU is fully against the proposal, releasing a statement saying ShotSpotter has been proven to be ineffective at preventing violence, does not facilitate justice, endangers privacy, and can escalate interactions between police and the communities that they serve. What about the criticism that this might lead to over-policing of neighborhoods and a violation of privacy? Yeah, so it's the exact opposite. In fact, um, ShotSpotter is bringing cops to dots when they need to be there because if police aren't responding to criminal gunfire, I'm not sure what they should be doing in a community. Clark calls gun violence the civil rights issue of our generation. He argues ShotSpotter will send officers to neighborhoods resigned to gunfire and a lack of police response. Just an officer showing up with a duty of care can change the relationship between that community and the police department because now they see the police department as there to serve and protect them. And that's fundamentally the work that we're trying to do. Yeah, he says that community buy-in is what's so important in developing the relationship. Now, as for the cost, Clark says it's $70,000 a year per square mile of coverage. It will be up to cities to determine how many areas or what areas they want to put them in. The mayor has asked for $1.8 million for a pilot project to use spot, uh, shot spotter, some video surveillance, and license plate detectors. So just wants to try it out at first. Couldn't get it passed last year. Hoping to this year. They'll determine where to put the audio uh, detectors depending on how many calls they're getting for police service in certain areas and where they've had victims who've been shot. Seattle is not the only city considering ShotSpotter. Clark says he's talked with both the mayor and police chief in Tacoma.